Welcome to today's episode. Today we are going to learn all about the curves adjustment tool in Adobe Photoshop. Curves adjustment layer can be created from here, okay? And using curves adjustment layer, we can achieve a lot more things. So I'm going to show you all of that. So this is our starting image and let's create our curves adjustment layer from here by clicking this icon, curves like icon, okay? Or you can go down over here on this black and white circle and if you we'll click it, it will open up the this drop up menu and from here you can choose the curves okay and it would create a curve for you and now let me show you the basics of curves first of all over here you can see you if you click this drop down menu you will see some presets okay if you click this color navigation it will show you the RGB okay and cross process it will cross process the image as you can see these are the different curves and how they have been molded okay darker okay if you want to make your image darker increase contrast that would increase the contrast lighter it will make the image a little lighter linear contrast medium contrast navy negative and strong contrast okay so these are all presets you can browse okay and if you want to reset it then you can choose default and it would be a straight curve so it would be a default next is rgb okay if you click and drop this drop down menu you will show this is the rgb curve but if we want to selectively modify or manipulate any single curl color like red then this curve using this curve we can manipulate this red color and for green we can click green blue okay and if we go back to rgb and if you'll we'll press this auto option it is going to make the make our image pop automatically based on its own calcula calculation okay so let me <coughs> sorry let me reset it if we want to reset it either we can come over here on this reset to adjustment defaults this more this rounded arrow okay and it is going to reset it or we can click and drag these points and drag it outside the box and it is going to remove that point okay and will be at the starting position okay next is this hand tool okay using this if we'll click it will be selected and now we can select any area of the image like uh, this color and if we'll click and drag with our mouse it is going to make it lighter and if we'll drag it down it is going to make that color or that part darker okay and we'll take it this side or this side this will also make slightest of difference okay as you can see and moment we have selected as you can see it has created one point over here that means this has selected this area from this graph okay If you we'll select this area and you can see it has created this another point and we can similarly drag it up or down to make it lighter or darker okay since we have selected this RGB and if we select the red and drag it up and down you will see it is going to do that for us for the red color similarly for the green or red or blue okay 
and let me reset it okay next is this black point okay using this we can give the proper color white color balance okay to our image so it will select the black color or point picker so we can select the black color if there is available in our image we will select it so it is going to fix the white balance for us okay and similarly with this this is a gray point picker and we need to select the gray point or the uh, area which is not absolutely black or green like midtone okay and the moment we have selected you can see it has changed the white balance let me show you by pressing ctrl z or command z you can see this was before and this is after we have selected it has made a slightest of difference because white balance of our image is already good okay and then this one is the white point okay and we can using this we can choose the white point like this person and it has fixed the image properly okay it has boosted this white boosted the exposure and contrast and you can see now our image looks very good okay and second this one is regarding curves it is of no use and uh, this is pencil you can create your own curves using this okay but this is also not useful much and this is for curves and this is histogram okay this is also not useful so main useful tool is these one hand tool black black color picker and gray point picker tool and the white picker tool okay and reset it and if you don't want to reset it let me undo it you can check it by clicking this eye icon this is the before and this is after we have applied this curves okay so without going to the without pressing control jet or without resetting it you can check what was our before result and what is after we have applied all these settings okay and let me show you the next point let me first reset it and next this a this is very important using this we can clip this adjustment layer to the layer underneath it that means after we select this it is going to affect only the layer which is which would be underneath it as you can see at the moment we have only one layer okay so if i'll just create a duplicate copy of it let me drag it on the new page icon and drag it upside and now if i go to its settings and if i clip it to the underneath layer and if i make any adjustment to this okay let me okay let me first do it undo it okay and if i make any adjustment as you can see it is not affecting our image because this layer is above it but it is affecting the underneath layer as me let me show you now i have turned off the topmost layer and now since you can see this arrow this is pointing downward that means this layer is going to affect only this layer all right so if i make any adjustment i can see it now but if i turn it on the top layer i won't be able to see the adjustment but it would be there okay so this is how clipping mask work okay so let me show you let me undo it okay reset it and next important thing which need to be considered is this area this area affects the shadows okay as you can see and this affects the midtone and this area this affects the highlights okay 
if I make the adjustment to this like if I drag it upward so it is going to lighter the shadows okay and if I drag it downward it is going to make the shadows darker okay and let me drag it over here and this area affects the midtone so if I'll drag it up it is going to make the midtone lighter and if I drag it down it this going to affect the midtone and make it darker okay and let me drag it little bit upward and this area is affecting the highlights okay as you can see now we see more highlights and if I drag it down you will see you will not be able to see any highlights over here and it is going to take away that headline highline sorry highlights from it okay let me add a little bit and if i want to add contrast i can create one more point and i can add a little bit contrast to this image okay and if i drag it over here and let's choose the blue color okay and let it be in the highlights so that way our sky would be more blue okay and take it away a little bit from the shadows if we add it you can see our shadow would become blue and that would not look good so we don't want that okay so we want to keep it this way all right and similarly let's green let's add green to the shadows a little bit and uh, we don't want it to be in the highlight okay so let me reset it and i think it is becoming more greener so let's leave it alone okay and let's come to the blue blue we have already done let's come to the red and let's see if it is doing any good no i think it's not doing any good rather it's ruining the image okay so we'll go for this one okay and now let's create one more curves adjustment layer this time we'll create it from here and let me show you one more simple trick using which you can pop out your colors and contrast in the image so as you can see at the moment it has low contrast okay and i want to boost this contrast and colors so what i can do i can make a simple slightest of s curve on this curve and that would make my colors and contrast pop so let's see how it works so if i'll create a one point over here and drag it little down one point over here and on the highlights and make it like s curve all right and if i want i can adjust it as you can see the slightest s curve and let me show you by turning it off and on you can see the difference it has made okay and let's create one more curves adjustment layer and this time let's drag upward this midtone so that we get to see more light over here and let's add little contrast in this area and little bit more highlights if you want okay and now see this is the final result by turning it off so this was our starting image and this is after we have used the curves only adjustment we have not used any other tool for this purpose we have only used the curves adjustment okay so i hope you liked it and please do apply whatever you are learning from here to your own images and do share your work your and if possible before and after work 
in my private Facebook group which is called the Lens of You which I have created specifically for this purpose. You can find the link to that in the description section and if you have any question you can always leave in the comment section all right so if you like it please don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel for more videos and uh, one more thing if you want a huge discount on my pro tutorials you can get that via a link in the description section where you will get all of my courses for a limited time just for 49 dollars okay and if you want my future course also to be included then you can purchase 49 dollar per year subscription for that okay so thank you so much see you in the next episode